Very good morning and welcome back to the Sunshine Island of Mallorca and Puerto Portals for the Puerto Portals Sailing Week 2016. It's a long season for the 52 Super Series, starts in May and finishes up in October. And today is the midpoint of the season, the half time. We reach halfway through the season and of course the question of the day is, is the glass half full or half empty? Always half full. Oh, I was going to say it's half full. It's only going up. Simple. So we're halfway through the season. What do you see in the glass? Uh, water. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony Ray then from the uh, Ran Racing team, halfway through the season today. Tony, what's the glass? Half full, half empty? Oh man, it's um, it's going to be a, it's going to be another tough day out there. But um, we we think our um, our luck's about to change, and we're going to um, step it up again today, and and uh, look to getting on the podium. We just want the glass. Is it half full or half empty for you? Can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through the season for Azura, what do you see in the glass? Always full, full, yes, full. always full, yeah, yeah. And the question is why? Just a great team. Well, there you have it. Uh, is this the season half over? Is there still half a season to go? You thought it was a simple binary question, a yes or no? But the answer is it's uh, obviously very hard to get a clear answer from sailors. But uh, anyway, cheers. Vodka. <laughs>so breeze is going to be a little bit lighter today more to the south uh, program for day three is a windward leeward race and a short coastal so Ariane, uh, race officer then uh, what's the program for today starting with one windward leeward race and about half an hour after we will do a coastal race of between 15 20 miles depending on the wind the plan is a uh, windward leeward quite big of about uh, four miles more or less the downwind and after they go around the zone of the uh, Yetas, then we have another variable mark to the wind. Try to finish downwind just here in front of the harbour of Portals. Race number five of the series gets underway in the Chaloc, the uh, southerly uh, sea breeze. 10 to 15 knots in the start line by the second uh, downwind, probably uh, 17, 18 knots. So really great planing conditions. Azura started nicely uh, on the committee bow end of the line, quantum midline, slightly quicker. They both got good lanes out in the left side of the track and quantum led at the windward mark uh, with a nice little lead over Azura. Brunenasek in third. Downwind, uh, Quantum were already 30 metres ahead. A great recovery through the race from Prevetza, which were eighth at the top mark, got themselves up to third by the finish. Order across the finish line, Quantum Racing, Azura and Prevetza. We always knew it would be tough, the uh, shellac breeze they call it here, where it's always windier and more left at the top. and. You know, it's sailing towards the west, it's lighter and right, so we just had to try to plan for that. And uh, we brought all the wrong sails for the race, for sure, but we knew that most of the other boats did the same thing. You know, had a light jib we didn't use, had a heavy kite we didn't use, and, you know, in the end we, we scraped through. Great day. Sixth race of the uh, Porto Portal Sailing Week was a coastal race, around about uh, 15, 16 miles. Took two hours and five minutes, and Gladiator won the pin end of the start and got away, nice early lead. In fact, led all the way down through the uh, gate mark and right down to the Aletas mark, which is just uh, to the west of Palma. And there, difficult, difficult transition. They just lost out a little bit there to uh, Quantum Racing. Jived in front of Quantum, got inside Quantum, and Quantum uh, ghosted past them into the mark and led through the finish line. So two wins today for Quantum Racing. Prevetza get up to second. A uh, great day for Prevetza, lie second overall. Brunenasek third, and Azura a good fourth. Yeah, it just was not an easy day, and even the run home to the finish, you know. I'm tired, you know, the guys on board um, have to say that uh, uh, Mr. Baird sailed an absolutely blinder of a day, you know, he did really, really good work supporting our decision making in the first race. We came around the top mark and had a reasonably good lead, and Zura and the whole group really soaked down hard in, inside of us, And uh, because you know how tricky Palma Bay can be, and so, touch wood, everything's going so far so good we got four more races to go here and then we'll uh, prepare ourselves for the world championship so the overall standings after six races uh, quantum on 16 points Prevetza on 20 tied with azura also on 20 in third place Brunenasek 23 and platoon on 29 well a long day in the water a good day for quantum racing with two wins and uh, Prevetza also pretty solid breeze everything from seven or eight knots up to 17 knots halfway through the season lots still to play for and the old uh, is the glass half full or half empty? Well, who cares? Thank you.